What's going on, guys? This is Mike with the 1% Mindset Podcast. Hope you guys are doing great. Um, usually don't drop a podcast on Fridays. Uh, today's March 20th. And actually, I'm not sure if I'll actually drop it today or Monday. So um, whenever you're hearing this, just know that it was recorded Friday. The reason why I'm saying that is because I know news happens so quickly, right? So when you're listening to something, I don't I don't want it to, to be as if I'm you know, not updated or I'm saying information that that is wrong um, because quite frankly, at the time of me saying this, it's correct. Uh, however, so many things could have possibly changed. Uh, so first and foremost, man, it, it's great to be back with you guys. I took off, I took a little hiatus off uh, and, you know, right now I'm getting ready to just really get a lot of work done. Um, obviously, for those who don't know, the last week has been interesting, right? We're in a space and a place that's a lot different. Uh, we have what's called a pandemic. Uh, the coronavirus is alive and well right now uh, throughout the world that is causing mass panic and fear. And today, one of the things I want to touch on is fear. I want to touch on how we view fear and the chaos it causes. And then I also want to touch on a self-reflection piece that I think is extremely important that that I'll get to as we, as we go along. So, uh, for those who don't know, you know, right now all of uh, schools are closed nationwide. There's the lockdown that was currently in California that that was announced across the whole state of California, which I assume is going to happen uh, throughout the country for the most part. Italy's in lockdown, so there's a, there's a lot of chaos that's happening. Um, because of this chaos, you go into you're waiting hours and hours in line at, at the supermarket. You can't find toilet paper and paper towels and hand sanitizers are going for like a hundred bucks. And you know, right now what what we're in is almost like a mass hysteria. But I want you guys to think about where we are currently, right? The the illusion that we're in, the the fear, so to speak. And I get it, right? The the beauty of fear of being afraid of something. Like, what are we currently afraid of right now? Uh, let's dissect it. Right now, we're assuming that things are gonna be locked down. And because things are gonna be locked down, we're not going to be able to shop, right? So that fear of thinking we're not going to be able to shop is causing mass hysteria in the supermarkets and the grocery stores. Now, I'm not saying we are or we're not going to be able to shop. That's not the point. The point is the fear that's happening right now is consistent with what we think will happen, not what is happening currently. Right? Currently, what is happening is we're hearing that this may be. So we're reacting based on emotion and the illusion of what is. And I can tell you at this very time, no one lives in the future. Absolutely nobody lives in the future. And because of our fear of what can come or the possibility of it coming, whether the whether it's probable or not, high or low, we're in we're living in a space currently of fear because of what can be. Now I'm not saying again, I'm not saying what's happening is optimal. I'm not saying what's happening is ideal. What I am saying is this is a good time to do some reflection. This is a good this is a good time to figure out how can I get better because at the end of the day what's what we're going through right now this this pandemic this coronavirus is just showing us where we're not free. It's just showing us some of the limitations that we have. It's showing us what stops us. Right? And I want you I want you to sit with that. Sit with that for a second. We kind of kind of play along this idea with me that what's happening now, although I'm not saying it's ideal, it's not ideal, it's not optimal for what we want at all. But what it's what it's showing us is how easily we're controlled. You know, you, th you think about I'll think about something like Y2K, right? At that time during Y2K, I was 12. Right, I, so I was young, but I distinctly remember this whole mass hysteria of man, Y2K is hitting 
you know, we're going all back to the 1900s. Computers are not working. Stock market's going to crash. This mass hysteria for what we thought the future may hold. Right? I'm not saying don't be prepared. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not, I'm not saying don't have forward thinking. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is when, when the mind is weak, anything you hear, regardless if it's truth or not, you'll run with. Right? That's why you see people post things and then someone say, no, that's not true. But because you heard it, you assumed that it was true. Right? The illusion of fear causes you to believe that you know, anything you hear, if the mind is not strong, you ultimately hold it as truth. And what I'm, t and what I'm telling you is take the time to sit back to actually question everything. Right? Before you make a decision on how you're going to react or how you're going to, how you're going to control yourself during this time, take a step back to say, man, what is happening right now? And I get there's, there's a lot of concerns, right? You know, right now I have a good amount of contracts that's up in the air. I've had friends who told me they've lost 20 to upwards of $60,000 in, in the markets, it's a lot of money. It's a lot of. I get it, right? And I'm not. I'm not saying there. You shouldn't have anxiety, or you know, that's that's not a cause for concern. What I am saying is the same thing that I tell all my clients when things happen is, great, that happened. Now what? How can you adjust based on the situation? You know, one of the things that I didn't do all, all week, I've been relaxing, I've been hanging out. Uh, I, had a, I had some time to spend uh, with my sister and, and, and the lady. And one of the things that I did during this time was absolutely nothing. Nothing. And the problem with doing absolutely nothing during times like this is when pe as people start to look at things as whether it's a vacation whether it's, you know, you're in panic, so you freeze, you don't know what to do, whatever that looks like for you, when things start to get back to normal, which they will, are you going to be behind or are you going to be ahead? Right? This is the perfect time to get ahead, to build, to create, to brainstorm. Because at this point, you have nothing but time. And I get there are people that are still going to work. I have friends that are still going to work. There are people that you know, have a lot of responsibilities. But don't use this time as, think, as being in fear like, oh my gosh, what's going to happen? The mind will only respond, right? You're only, the beauty of the, of the mind as I was doing research, you, your, your brain is designed to have a to have a, a protection mode, right? A, a fight or flight mode, right? Something happens, it, it wants to protect. Whether that means, hey, I see something, I need to take off. Hey, I need, I see something, I need to, I need to, you know, defend myself. Like whatever it is, the brain is designed to protect you, right? With this fear, when you have the illusion of fear, your brain is designed to protect you. Now, is your protection balling up and doing nothing Worrying, being scared is your protection. Hey, I need to adjust to figure out how to combat what's happening. What are you looking at? Are you constantly figuring out how to get better? Are you constantly, are you constantly adjusting to what's in front of you? Till again, I get it. All right, this this coronavirus is it ideal? No, coronavirus is not ideal. But what are you doing in the midst of it? Right? Are you reacting based on emotions? Right? When you're not knowledgeable, you accept everything as truth. And that and that's that's the issue. So today, and I want to keep this really short, really brief, um, because there's a lot of a lot of good things that, that are, that's coming from this. But 
I invite you to use this time, use this space, use this energy. Not with the illusion of fear or what you think is or what you think will happen. But use this time to question everything. Question everything. Right? There's reasons that people during recessions, billionaires make the most money. When the market is sinking, they do the opposite, right? If you're if you're being a sheep throughout this process, you're going to move based on what the masses do, based on the hysteria, based on the emotion of what you think is. Not discrediting the fear, because I think that's important to, to decipher and to understand. Not discrediting it, but understanding that you got to move in a space in a, in a sense that there's something is happening. How can I adjust? How can I benefit? What is the world trying to show me why this is happening? Because nothing happens by chance. I'm a firm believer. Everything happens how it's supposed to because it happened. And because it happened, how do you adjust and how do you move based on what that looks like? Right? So I invite you to move in a space and a place that you're creating value. You're providing input. You're providing insight to be effective in that space. With that being said, man, I absolutely love you guys, man. Uh, I appreciate you guys uh, tuning in, being consistent. Um, so this is episode nine. Talk to you guys later, man. Peace.